Lisa. I know lately I've been talking about using things in our stash and tools and stuff that we have, uh, but I've been wanting to do a video for a while about um, the things that I buy at the craft stores, Hobby Lobby, um, Joann's, Michael's, etc., that are not necessarily in the scrapbooking department because you can get some real bargains if you get out of the scrapbooking department and find things that you can still use in your scrapbooking. And sometimes you need to fill in a little bit in your stash or maybe you just have an urge to, to go out and shop and get a few more things. I'm going to start with some things that are kind of in the general craft area. All of the things I'm showing you came from Hobby Lobby because that's the craft store closest to me. Um, all but one. But many of them um, can be purchased at, at, at the other stores as well. Um, most, all these stores will have stencils. Uh, for home use and this one happened to be from Hobby Lobby for three dollars. It's got some nice stencils. Now the quality of the stencil material in this case is not as good as what you get in scrapbooking but for you know a lot of things you're using especially if it's some sort of specialty design um, can work out just fine. This one is an excellent quality. This came from uh, Michael's. It was a little bit more expensive but I have used and used and used this. And I don't have the packaging, so I don't know the brand. But they do have these, um, I think, still back in the home area of Michael's. Now, I get the blank stencil material at Hobby Lobby, $4 for three 12 by 18 sheets. I can cut a lot of stencils on my silhouette, and I used to cut them on the Cricut with this kind of material. So we'll do a separate video about that sometime. But um, um, you can get a lot of really cool do-it-yourself do stencils out of that material if you have any kind of a die cutting, electro electronic die cutting system. Also in the general craft area in these different stores are some wood elements. Now this is a pack of eight tag pieces, $2. Now you know you can't get wood veneer pieces anywhere else uh, that inexpensive. The bird cages, I got a pack that had bird cages in them. They have this kind of neat um, etching on them. Um, some little keys. I think I noticed uh, at Hobby Lobby they also had maybe some little birds and some different, different kinds of things. Really cool. Um, I still use a lot of craft paint. I do a lot more of the artist paints now since I've been doing more mixed media, uh, but I have quite a bit of craft paint and I find it great for coloring uh, chipboard letters and working with stencils. I done a video with a card where I used the metallic white paint. This is less than a dollar and you can get a lot of cards and a lot of um, bang for your buck on those. In the jewelry department at Hobby Lobby, I get my twine, which I can't remember what, something about on the cord or something is the name of this. I always take it off and wrap it around some chipboard so I can um, access it a little better. Uh, but it's $1.47 for a spool of this, and so it's pretty cheap. Rhinestones, just put your own glue dots on the back of them and they'll glue on just fine. These happen to be 50% off when I bought them, the smaller size and the large, and they do come in multiple colors. Now, hobby, oh, in the art department, I get my watercolor paper, which I use for stamping and coloring things. And in floral, um, I sometimes I'll buy flowers and pull them apart. I haven't done this very much lately because I still have quite a few of these, but these little pet silk petals, so if you want silk flowers, you can just get them in the floral department. Now, Hobby Lobby has a fabric department, but of course you could go to Joann's or some of the other, any of the other fabric stores. Um, what I love about Hobby Lobby's is, are these trims that you can get really inexpensive. Very often they'll have 50% off, and they were the day that I bought these. Isn't that really beautiful trim? Just so different. And something like this, you can just use a little bit on a scrapbook page and really uh, have a lot of interest to it. And it was, the full price on it is $3. Um, so I paid a dollar and a half for three yards of it, I think. We've got a pretty chevron here. This came in multiple colors. And I can do that for cards or scrapbook pages. Um, some lace trim, and I love these for cards, this um, oh, organza trim, makes beautiful Christmas cards. Also in the fabric department they have this twine, they do have some baker's twine, I noticed when I got these, uh, but they have this uh, number five pearl cotton. I started buying this when they would have it on clearance. They had some of the variegated colors on clearance, but I really like this um, to use in addition to or in place of uh, Baker's Twine. So those are 10 products that I get at the craft stores that are not in the scrapbooking department, and they're all really good buys. 
So thanks for watching me today, and I hope you'll continue on watching our series this summer on using up stuff in your stash. Um, it's kind of, it may be kind of a money-saving series. I don't know. It's just all about being creative and having fun this summer. Thank you.